A young life lost, a high-speed crash on a residential street takes the life of this 20-year-old. And police in Ecorse tonight, they've got just one question they want answered badly, and that's why was this 20-year-old going 75 to 80 miles an hour through a neighborhood? It happened on 17th Street right around Outer Drive. Lauren Padell spoke to the victim's family as they search for answers. Tires scattered, car parts broken, a young life lost. She was an outgoing person. She always kept a smile on people's face. 20-year-old Danita Alford was ejected from her car Friday just after midnight on 17th Street near Outer Drive in Ecorse. The friend with her rushed to the hospital after this devastating crash. A crash Ecorse police say the girls are responsible for. Well, it was a little strange because it was in a residential area. Uh, the speed limit in this area is 25 miles an hour. But the accident reconstruction team determined Danita was driving at 75 to 80 miles per hour down 17th when they hit this dark green Oldsmobile from behind with two men inside. Danita then crashed into two other parked cars, sending them onto front lawns. That's when Danita was ejected and killed. She's always a good girl. She always outgoing. She always was ambition. She uh, bought her first car. You know, she's been working ever since she was 16. One of the men was hospitalized. The other took off on foot, but is now in custody. As for Danita, she had five sisters. Family told us she was a hard worker, an aspiring nurse. She actually just paid some of her nursing school classes, and she was on her way to start her first class the next mm -hmm. week. And police are trying to figure out why she was driving so fast through a neighborhood. And while cleanup out here continues, Danita's family tells me her friend is in critical condition at this hour, but is expected to be okay. As for any charges for that man in custody, still waiting to hear back from Ecorse Police. Reporting from Ecorse, Lauren Podell, Local 4. Meantime, Ecorse Police say they plan to interview the victim's friend from the hospital.